Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how I use tags in Anki, why you should be using tags, including sub tags and hierarchical tags to organize your Anki deck. So essentially, if you're not already familiar with what tags are, if you go over to your sidebar, you'll see several icons in your sidebar. Anything that has this icon here, so this shape with a little circle in the middle, that's a tag. This icon represents your note types and this icon represents your decks. Anything on the sidebar with this icon are your tags. And what tags are, are essentially a way for you to categorize your cards depending on a particular common attribute. So for example, you could tag every single particular card, which I studied in year four with a year four tag. Or if you want to tag, you know, a particular specialty, you can also use every single card in that specialty and give it the same tag. So what I've done, as you can see on the sidebar, is I've put year four as one of my tags and you'll see that there's a little drop down that if I click it will show me all the different sub tags within that particular tag. So what that means is if I click on year four, it will show me all the cards I have in year four. You can see I have 2001 cards. And at the bottom of the browser, you'll see how I've organized my card. So for this one particular card, you'll see it says year underscore four, two colons and ID. Now this might look a bit confusing at first, but essentially any one word is your main tag. And to create a tag, you need to ensure that there are no spaces so you can either use an underline or a dash to separate that particular phrase. And then if I use two colons, what that will indicate is that now I'm creating a sub tag with the phrase ID. So that's infectious diseases. And so what you'll see is that for these particular cards here, it will get listed under my year four main tag and the ID sub tag. And now the difference between a deck and a tag is that while your decks will be displayed here when you do your reviews, the tags will be displayed on your browser, also on your card. So as you can see, I've set the card to show my tag while I'm doing my reviews. So you'll see that for this particular card, it's in the year four main tag and the misc sub tag. So if I go into my browser, it will be somewhere in here. And the reason why that's useful is because let's say, for example, you wanted to search a particular topic and you only wanted to search within the scope of a particular tag. So let's say if I wanted to search for thrombocytopenia and I only wanted it to show my year four hematology deck. I don't want it to search other decks or other cards or anything else that I have. I know that, you know, my card is somewhere in here. So I can just select sub deck and then type in the phrase I want to search and it will show me all of the cards that have thrombocytopenia in the hematology sub tag of my year four main tag. Now for these hierarchical tags to work, as I said, you have to use the colon to separate the main tag and the sub tag, but you also need an add-on called hierarchical tags too. So you can just go onto tools, add-ons, and this is the add-on. I'll put a link in the description for the add-on link so you can copy and paste the code. However, if you have Anki version 2.1.41 or higher, then this functionality is built in so you won't need that add-on. Another add-on I recommend lets you easily insert your tags while you're creating cards. So with that particular add-on, you'll see a little tags function here. You can drag it to the bottom if you want, but essentially that allows you to save your tags so that you can easily click on it while you're creating cards. So for example, if I was to create a card and I wanted to add a particular tag to it, I can just add that tag and it will save it here for me so that next time when I need to actually add that tag to the card, I just check it. And as you can see, it will populate it in the tags field. So it will add that tag automatically and avoid you having to type that tag every single time you wanted to add it to a new card. So that's useful when you're creating new cards in batches. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is leech tag. So if you go over into your Anki deck settings, you see here that my leech threshold is four lapses. That means if I get a card wrong four times, it will create the tag leech on it and it will go up in my browser. And as you can see this leech option, it will come under here. So for this particular tag, you see that it has the Duke Elder tag, but it also has a leech tag, meaning I've got it wrong more than four times. And that's a useful way for Anki to show you the cards you keep getting wrong because it may be an indication that you don't know the content properly or you need to relearn it or you need to revise it multiple times. And you can create filtered decks with just your leech cards so that you can study those. And the way you do that is just go on tools, create filtered deck. And in the search field, if you just type in tag colon leech, just like this, it will show you the cards that have the leech tag. And you can show limited to how many cards you want to show. Let's say you only want to study 20 leech cards. You want to 
can't check reschedule cards based on my answering the deck, otherwise it will affect the algorithm and reschedule the cards. If you just want to study these just to learn them, click on build and it will show you your filtered deck, which means that all of these cards now have the leak tag on it. So you can easily study the cards you keep getting wrong. And I've made an in-depth video on how to deal with cards you keep getting wrong. So if you want to check that out, then I will link it here. With that being said, thank you for watching my video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Abby and I'm a final year medical student studying in London. If you want to sign up to my newsletter, you can check it out in the description below. With that being said, thank you for watching my video and I'll catch you again in my next video.